Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about beginner developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, have you met beginning de uh, junior developers who think more files are better, more checks against schemas are better, and who can over engineer things to parse a simple .n file into three files, etc. The path of least resistance is a no-go for them. What do you think? Yeah, I would say that it's very common that you have at least one or two in every company. It, it's not always the case, but I take it like it, it's not a hard number in any way, guys. But it is something that I see quite often. We call it over-engineering, or as it's not my term, but it's a really good one. Philosophers philosopher programmers where basically as I like to say they make coding about themselves and their own personal enjoyment the, they they question uh, established patterns sometimes they are very right about this I'm not saying in any way that you can't be right when you question a, a like a dogma or like a doctrine for how to do something and so forth because sometimes we actually do have outdated ideas in both communities all the way down to like at the company and things like that the companies are doing things in a subpar way it's very very common but we also have to be a little bit honest and admit that sometimes we are using that special library or so forth more because we want to than that it's strictly necessary it's very common that i have conversations with software developers about that and frankly it is at this point my job basically to be able to spot when that is happening in my current role it's very common that I do some what they call technical coaching or things like that and the basic the basics of that is is roughly know how the system is being developed and know all the things about the ecosystem and like what software developers you have and stuff like that and basically suggest do A or do B or if they come with the new ideas of like how to do this just ask them a few questions to validate whether or not they've actually thought this through and so that's what I suggest that you do here because the best and easiest way to figure out whether or not someone has a really good idea or if it's just something that they feel like doing for the moment is to create a slight amount of resistance not so much that you know in some companies it's basically impossible to get capacity to do anything because everybody wants a PowerPoint presentation with the full with four slides explaining their idea the base business value the cost blah 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 like etc etc like they take it way too far what I usually argue is that the easiest way to fix a situation to keep people like to keep people a little bit honest about their suggestions is to ask them to showcase their idea so when someone comes to me and says hey I have this cool idea for an improvement we can make and I go yeah sure let's do it how like how long would it take you to tr to create a small proof of concept and then basically if they can do a small proof of concept in a reasonable amount of time I, like let them make a branch do it and then they get to showcase the idea to sort of rubber duck a little bit with the other developers to see if they like the idea or not and what usually happens when you do this is that they have to like they can't just make an idea that makes a, like to execute on an idea that makes sense in their head and then just be happy with it because they they really have they have to sell the idea a little bit to the other developers now what this does is that you make them aware of that if it's a code base that is being affected, like I like to say to my software developers, if you have an idea that really only affects your current story or something, like it doesn't have a major impact on everybody else, it's just for your specific story, go for it. Like you, then you can be sort of, I mean, it's nice that you inform people what you're doing and stuff like that, but you don't have to be so strict about it. But if you do make changes that has an impact on everybody else's work, then I expect you to sort of like, you know, if you come into my office and you move the coffee machine to somewhere else in the building, you should tell people about that. It's common, it would be common decency, I would argue, like it's, it's something that would be very obvious to most people that that's something you should probably communicate. Same thing if you change our 
way of running tests or running a pipeline or if you change from one language to another you know these like these are of course exaggerated examples but if you ask people to do that what happens is usually that you get a measure of control here now the problem can be of course that well let's say that even though they do showcase the idea you might find that there's a bunch of people who agree with them or you might find that the people who are making the evaluation are not so suitable for it and that is a different conversation i've had this endless argument between people like should we use democracy to agree upon technical solutions or should we just let the most experienced person always have the final say etc etc and this is a never-ending battle guys always I've met everything from junior uh, from uh, juniors who won't accept it doesn't matter that the whole team is against them they don't care they're gonna throw a fit about it and that's why I keep on telling people that I'm very sorry to say that we are still not fully as a species in a state where where we can use democracy for everything and I'm very sorry to say that sometimes you're just gonna have to pull rank on people or escalate and that's what I usually tell people escalate it just throw it upwards until someone makes a decision for you because that's the only way you can shut people down in this situation or you have to get rid of them basically if they don't comply with everybody else and at the same time you might find which is as I've you can imagine I see this in quite a lot you have a p team of software developers who have a really cool idea that they want to try out and me in this case who are supposed to be the more knowledgeable one in this specific scenario you can see that this is probably not going to work and then it becomes really tricky so because then what do I do so we should agree upon approaches together but if I who uh, if I see that an approach is bad objectively if that is even possible should I shut it down and that's the I argue that this on a case-by-case -case basis and in many cases it really comes down to how secure are you in in either approach in one case, as I said, you have to. You know, I argue that you should usually do this. Try as much as possible to just get them to showcase the idea and do a little bit of a democratic thing, because that's usually the easiest way to solve it. But in some cases, if someone's doing something that is really, really weird or something that is like that, you know that this is going to turn out really, really bad, then you might have to pull rank on them if you have it, of course, or you have to escalate to your like manager and stuff like that. And if for any reason you don't get your way, try to be an adult about it. Try to understand that there are things going on every single day that could have been better, could have been done differently. You might have other ideas of how to do it, but you can't control everything in the world. So sometimes you're just going to have to shock it down as, yeah, I'm not going to get my way here. Just as they will have to, if they're adults about this, understand that just because you have a really cool idea doesn't necessarily mean that this is the place and moment to to do it. So what I want you to take away from this is that yes, I meet software developers all the time who overcomplicate things or so forth and so forth and it has mostly to do with that they think that it's a cool idea. Sometimes it's absolutely skill, like as I've said many times before, this is a talent industry and so different people have different ideas of how to write good software. There's no one way of doing it in many cases there are efficient more efficient ways and less efficient ways but everybody makes their own evaluation on these sort of topics and some people are very extreme and so what I tell people if you want to deal with these people in the best way make them painfully aware of that like sort of get them to broaden their perspective a little bit because usually they're focusing more on that their cool solution is so cool but if you force them to sort of explain it to more people they get they get more aware of that my super cool solution has to be super cool for other people as well that works if you don't if the person who's making the suggestion isn't like the manager as I said if they have their authority some people don't care about everybody else they're more focused on their own desires and own needs and that's something you can't really battle if they have authority and stuff like that you just have to as I said shock it down as a loss or move on with your life but in many cases just making them like allowing them to make a proof of concept because they might have a really good idea but then make sure that they have to prove that it's a good idea before they go all in and force everybody down this path that's a pro process that I use practically in every single team that I work in it usually works but in some cases as I said 
it doesn't work due to the fact that you might have a group of people like the majority is going to pick something that is very dangerous for the project and in that situation you have to play it a little bit by ear sometimes I might go in and say no actually guys I'm really sorry I understand the idea but if I'm the tech lead or whatever might I'm, I'm in some position of authority I'm gonna have to shut this down and in some cases I just say alright let them do this because it's not a big deal it doesn't make like a large impact and so forth so if you're gonna be a good leader in this situation figure out when it's important to pull rank and when it is less important and even though it's not may not be the ideal solution or suggestion it doesn't really matter it's a little bit like being a parent when do you really get down like when do you like really tell off your kids for doing something bad and when do you allow them a little bit of wiggle room to do their own thing have a great day